Welcome everyone to the next instalment of my watch collection. I bring to you today a special Buller Swiss automatic jump power from 1970. This watch encompasses a series of three discs, one for the hours, the minutes and for the seconds which you can see rotating. The Bullock Company was founded in 1945 by the SSIH Group which stood for the Society Suisse de Industrie Horologie. I've probably butchered that name but uh, uh, the factory was uh, founded on 20th century ideals and uh, uh, over the years uh, has uh, become a uh, very efficient and uh, staff orientated organisation um, giving um, the workforce a uh, unprecedented amount of uh, control over the uh, uh, production of uh, the uh, pieces and uh, on a series of uh, floors um, each part of the uh, watch manufacturer is, uh, is worked on by a fantastic team The movement of the watch is a 17 joule automatic and um, it is made by Born Gardner and the code is a 1582. It, um, as you can see from the uh, picture, um, it is a pin lever um, escapement movement and um, the dimensions of the watch is 40 millimeters length and 42 millimeters wide including the crown 15 millimeters thick and the strap width is uh, 24 on the rear of the watch the uh, screw down case back can see has a uh, serial number of 13129. The movement um, is uh, uh, has a 36 hour power reserve and 18,000 beats per hour. So you can see it is a very traditional automatic movement very similar to the Secura automatic movements that uh, were uh, very popular um, in the 70s and um, the case itself is a uh, base metal with a chrome finish and um, it, the watch itself has hand winding um, but it's non-hacking. Um, depending on the position of the watch, um, the watch keeps great time. Um, less so when actually on the wrist, which uh, is quite comical. Um, but that uh, unfortunately is one of the uh, downsides of this particular automatic movement. As you can see, it is a very funky design. Uh, reminiscent of uh, the TV sets um, on, from uh, the 50s and uh, rolling right the way through to uh, the 70s um, where you would see these uh, very curved uh, lines and you can see the uh, depth of uh, the watch so on the wrist which I'll show uh, later is very substantial 
uh, the recessed crown as you can see of the movement. The jump power concept uh, I find uh, is uh, really interesting. Um, they were called um, or have got uh, the name of uh, being a digital watch um, because of the uh, digits obviously uh, in uh, the form um, for uh, timekeeping. Being on the large side it uh, doesn't um, really wear well uh, with a shirt cuff but every day I wear, wear it's a fun piece. Um, so unusual to see John Power watches um, today. Uh, one of my favourites in my collection. Um, eBay is my friend. Um, this watch cost me £42 and I've actually seen them go for upwards of uh, £100 to £150 for uh, the automatic version um, as this is. Um, so uh, hopefully a future investment. Um, the uh, design uh, reminds me of uh, the uh, TV seen on uh, the uh, uh, TV series uh, like Thunderbirds or uh, UFO which were created by uh, the uh, puppeteer Jerry Anderson. Uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, brief look at uh, the Buller um, automatic uh, jump hour. Um, if uh, you have any uh, uh, unusual watches in your collection, please let me know um, in the uh, comments. And um, uh, please don't forget to uh, leave a like. And um, I look forward to bringing you the next instalment to uh, my collection reviews and um, I will see you next time. Bye for now.